Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today, we're getting ready to start a second season of Captain of Industry. Now, the first season went pretty good, and I, I took some time to review all of the comments from that first preview season Let's Play. Uh, you guys didn't seem to have too many suggestions. However, several people mentioned that they want to see me spend less time on the ores and focus more on mining the dirt and moving that around the map. So this season, we're going to spend more time focused on the dirt and kind of just using our dump trucks and ex excavators to move dirt around the map. Obviously, I'm joking. Uh, I did take notes from all of the suggestions from last season. And so we'll try to apply all of those lessons learned in this season. I'm sure it won't be perfect. There's also been some changes to the game since I recorded that last, uh, that last series. They've made some improvements. That I think they've given us a little bit of more starting copper and things. Um, but yeah, let me just go through some of these comments and I'll try to address these a little better this season. One was the uh, sliding inventory bars. Kind of messed that up early on in the last season. I think I know how those work now. We're talking about the warehouse kind of setting reserve levels and things. Uh, spreading out wastes the diesel, right? So spreading out our layout, our factory layout, waste diesel as the trucks have to travel farther. We're going to have to try and see if we can do that a little more optimized this time, including making use of the fuel stations, which I didn't get to place last season either. I know someone mentioned they'd like to see the research move a little faster. That's fine. I got to keep an eye on that. Then what else we got? Uh, oh, someone had an interesting question about does the mine manager actually impact the warehouses? So if you put a warehouse within range of one of the mine manager buildings, uh, would that you know make things go a little faster in terms of storing ore and things? So we could check that out, I suppose. And then the big one, right? The big one, the kind of thing I've been joking about is uh, you know mining the surface deposits first and doing that in a flat mining fashion before moving on to digging deep. And then also getting much more precise on um, laying out the mining area. So we'll definitely be improving that the series. Uh, leverage both outputs from the blast furnace. Sure, we'll do that. Buffer warehouses for ore. So let's, yeah. So with buffers, my only issue with using buffers in factory games or any game like this is that I, I feel like sometimes they can hide an underlying problem. And I kind of want to know about it. So I'll see a bottleneck or uh, an inefficiency a lot faster and get to it a lot faster if I don't have buffers. So I, I understand that that can kind of decrease the overall productivity of the factory, but I kind of avoid buffers usually. Sometimes I use them, but sometimes if, I'm, if I don't use them, it's mainly because I want to see the problems sooner so I can fix the underlying root cause. Let's see, what else do we have? We have, oh, I should mention Unity, right? A lot of suggestions around using Unity to build buildings. So I'm on the fence about Unity in general. I like the idea of using it for boosts. Like, right, you're using, I kind of see the Unity as like goodwill of your settlement. And I can see, yeah, if there's goodwill, then you could kind of boost production. Hey guys, let's uh, let's double down, work a few extra hours here and and get more done. But to use Unity to build a new thing from scratch, just magically, I don't know, something about that feels weird. At last season, I used Unity quite a bit for maintenance. We may have to do that again, just out of sheer necessity, but I'm gonna try to avoid using Unity for new building. Okay, let's start by getting the research lab and the furnace down. That's what they've suggested. Let's get that going. Where is the furnace? Gotta remember where all this is. There's our blast furnace. Now, where do we want this? That is where our scrap iron is, right? But eventually, we're going to want to be maybe near all of this iron. So the question is, do we uh, initially do it kind of in a less optimized fashion where they have to bring it over, transfer over to the material over to this blast furnace so we can be close to the iron deposit? I think that's kind of what I want to do. And I recognize it's the same map as last time. So there isn't random map generation just yet in the game. That's fine. Why don't we put the smelter somewhere in the logical middle? I guess I should look at the overlays to see. Yeah, this is a seems like a reasonable place, right? Not too far from the coal, not too far from the uh, iron, and not too far from the scrap metal. 
So that's my thinking behind doing that. There's that guy, and I get the game paused. Let's also go ahead and place down the research lab. Where is that one? Housing Food Market Research Lab. This one, does it matter where this goes? I can't remember how the research works. Let's, we can put it, I don't even know if there's a strategic place to put this. So again, if it's, uh, ends up being not terribly efficient, forgive me. Let's put it over here. And what else? Let's take a look again at the resources. So this time, as I mentioned at the top, we're definitely going to be focused on the surface deposits of, of the uh, ores before we go deep underground. I think uh, I tried doing my mine maybe over this way last time. So we'll hit the surface deposits first. We've got iron, we've got coal, and then eventually we'll get the sand. I think that was for the concrete, if I'm not mistaken. And then we've got copper here, which we did mine last time, but we were kind of caught off guard or I was caught off guard by the extra processing step to uh, turn copper into a material that is suitable for the maintenance parts. The other thing we need to do here, I guess, is take down some trees, right? Does this show the building materials we need? Or what do we have? We've got, where is it? Trying to see where our inventory is. There's way up at the top here is the inventory. So we've got 340 uh, level one building materials and we've got 300 diesel. That's right. We're going to have to do the diesel. That's over here last time. Eventually we'll be bringing that in all by boat, right? So we learned that we're going to be able to bring the oil in from an offshore location. This will exhaust eventually. So we'll have to think about when we get to that, we'll think about where is the best place to put the diesel down. So let's go ahead and hit play and let this thing move forward. Our trucks are beginning their journey, starting to pick up resources from the dock. So yeah, last season I had a hard time figuring out where the optimal place is to lay things out, you know, so that the trucks aren't moving so fast or moving so such long distances. Um, I think it does. I know we're going to be mining a lot of iron, so I think it kind of makes sense to be a little closer over here, but we still need coal. So it's hard to know what is the absolute best to minimize the diesel usage. And then we also need to try and do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause. We're also going to have to try those fuel stations. All right, let's, uh, go through these messages. Okay. Thank you for building the lab. Just came from there. It looks great. Sure. First thing we're thinking of is farming. Okay, we're going to follow the tutorial a little bit. Second is construction parts assembly. Third is the beacon. Beacon we may not need. Last time we used this to bring in copper more than we used it to actually bring in population, right? Because I tend to play it a little slower, the population growth was not an issue. In fact, we had too many people and, and ended up starving for a shortage of food. So third is the beacon. All right, farming, construction parts, and beacon. Let's go into the tech tree. Okay, research is very intensive, needs unity to progress. That's right. Uh, unity is naturally generated in settlements when the people are happy, but can decrease when their needs are not met. Okay, we all saw that from last season. Farming and construction parts. Where is the research? I just got to remember how we get into that. Start research. Farming. Let's do it. Start the research. Okay. That is selected. Escape out of that. The tutorial iron smelting. Okay. Furnace allows this. We're going to start with the scrap. This method is efficient. However, supplies of metal scrap are limited. The more scalable way is to use iron ore mined from the deposits around the island. Unlike smelting scrap, smelting iron ore produces a waste product called slag that needs to be transported out. And I think that's automatic. Somebody made a comment in one of the videos, previous videos that, hey, your slag uh, output is, is full and it's causing your, uh, your, your blast furnace to back up. Now, I think that's going to be taken out by truck automatically as long as we have a dump site specified, but we'll keep an eye on that. Other products work similarly. Similarly to iron, you can choose what recipes are enabled in the furnace by clicking on them. An enabled recipe is shown with a green border around it. Okay, very cool. Furnace needs coal as fuel. 
All right. So yeah, having it in between the coal and the iron seems to make sense to me since it's going to need both of those resources. Okay. Unless we do wood, which then it's going to have to be near the trees, which just happened to be near the coal mine. So I think where we've got a place that's probably pretty decent. Wood is a valuable raw material used, for example, in construction parts. Okay. Wood harvesting. We need to assign a truck to tree harvesting that can be done either be the truck's UI or the global vehicle. This overview panel that can be accessed from the top part of the UI. Okay, waste products. So do we need to do that coal charcoal burner? I think we do have to start out with a charcoal burner, right? For this guy. Let's look at the recipe. It says missing input. Metal scrap plus coal. That must be the only one I can possibly do, right? So it seems like we're going to need charcoal. Let's, uh, let's get that charcoal burner. Charcoal maker. Oh yeah, this has got exhaust to it. And yeah, the exhaust is coming out there. Where is the product coming out? I see. We, let's see. Makes sense. Let's try it like this. We'll see. I'm not sure if that's the most optimal way or not. And then do we get the conveyors right out of the gate or not? I can't remember. Where is that? Transports. Molten and pipe. Oh, I think we don't. Before I forget, let's put the smokestack up. That can bolt on. Can't bolt on right next to it. Let's see. I'm zoomed in as far as I can get. Is that right? Something looks different to me. Do I need a pipe? Let's try it. Thought that would just connect. Maybe not. Again, maybe it does need a pipe. Did that take? Boom, boom. There we go. All right. And then we need to mark trees, right? And assign a truck. Is that right? Let's uh let's see. Assign to tree harvesting. And then tree harvesting prioritization. Okay, this looks a little different, but we'll mark some trees. All of this. In fact, we can mark a whole lot of trees. We'll see if we can get by with one truck doing it. Escape out of that. There's our smokestack. They brought the iron scrap. Looks like they have, I think. Can't remember if that's just telling me the recipe or not. Let's take a look at the research lab. Basic farming still going. Okay, now we need to get, do something with this molten metal. So the metal caster, and people mention that there's two output ports here, so that's fine. Let's see, where is it? Let's start with one. Oh yeah, we've got exhaust here that's got to go. I forgot about that. Let's pipe that out. Get that over here. Oh man, look at this horrible layout already. Uh, let's not do that. Let's make, let's move this uh, smokestack. How do we want to do it? Eventually I want to convey her out of here. I'm going to pause for a second. Spend a little more time on this layout from the beginning. What makes the most sense? Running that pipe all the way around here. I don't want to block the trucks, right? Coming in. Seems like there's not a great way to do it either way without blocking the path, right? How much do those cost? 
Smokestacks cost 10. You know what I'm going to do? I know this is not terribly efficient, but I'm just going to drop another one down here. And that way I bypass the whole need to solve that puzzle. Let's hit play and keep that going. I don't think I have conveyors yet. Do I have this molten channel though? Let's try that. Can I get into here? Looks like I can. All right, research complete basic farming. Let me go ahead and pause, go in and pick another research. I think it was, what was it? What was the next one that we wanted to do? Construction. Right, we've got construction. We've got power and beacons. I think they said that's third. Let's do construction so we can get construction parts. That is off and running. Escape out of that. All right, we got to get the smokestack built. Hopefully that won't take too long. Dismiss this. Uh, and we should probably build a farm while we're waiting. Now, where do we want to do the farms? How about... How about we do a couple of the initial farms over here? Ooh, they are big. Uh, is that going to constrain our settlement growth? Might. Last time, I think I had some farms over this way. Let's try it. Let's do it. I want to leave enough room. That underground ore is probably not going to be too big of a problem. I guess we could try and not step on it. But let's get a couple of these down at least. Boom. And boom. Those will get built. Looks like, are we producing some iron yet? Still waiting. No, what's, yeah, what's going on here? Is this thing working? Missing input. Metal scrap, coal. Oh, we're waiting on the charcoal burner. What do you need? Okay, you're doing your thing. It's got plenty of wood coming in, I think. We've only got one truck on this. We may need to put two on it. Okay, the farm's getting built. That's all good. Here comes another load of wood. The charcoal has to be delivered by truck. That's probably what that truck is waiting on. Okay, we've got two crops. I'll pause for the heck of it. Let's get the crops. Now with the farms, there was input on this one too from you guys, and it's interesting because one person said, you know, the reason we starved out last time was because we had all of our fields. I think there was three or four of them. were all set to fallow, right? So that no, no crops were growing, and it kind of cycled that way where all of them are growing nothing just to replenish the nutrients in the soil. And then all of them would be producing a crop. Now, my theory was, um, based on the hints and stuff in the tutorial, it talks about, you know, you need to have a fallow in order to restore the fertility of the ground. And I think, you know, my thinking was it doesn't really matter if it's staggered or not, because all of the food that's being stored up is just going to sit in inventory. I don't think the food goes bad. So if you have all three fields at the same time producing food, you're getting three times the, the food, right? And if the next month, none of them are producing food, you still have three times the food from last time. So I'm not sure if it matters if, it's, if you stagger them or not. We can do it just for fun. So we'll do, uh, I mean, it seems weird to start with fertility when we're already at 100%. Maybe what we do is, uh, why don't we do, let's do, Two growth and then a fertility and then a growth for that one. And then this one to have it staggered a little bit, let's do a growth, a fertility, a growth and a fertility. Let's experiment with that. I think, I still kind of think it makes sense just to alternate, start with growth and fertility, growth and fertility. That way your growth cycles always have the max ferti maximum fertility. But we'll try it this way just uh, just because of the comments I got. 
And we'll start with two farms. We've got plenty of rain, which is very deceiving. Eventually, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to do the irrigated farms because that's what killed us last time. So how is this guy doing? Are we smelting iron? We need to see that. We need to see that happening. What am I missing here? Metal scrap. Got plenty of coal. Missing an input. You need, okay, you need more scrap. And the scrap, are these guys harvesting from here? Start recycling. I see. I have to click something there to make it happen. All right, so we lost a little bit of time there, but not the end of the world. Charcoal's being produced. That'll back up. Now, again, we could be putting in uh, a warehouse here, right? We could be storing off the coal in a warehouse. We could be um, storing the scrap metal in a warehouse. But the way I look at it, I don't really lose anything if my trucks are sitting waiting. I'm guessing they're not burning diesel. And I'd rather... Um, prevent them from wasting diesel and other resources to mine minerals and stuff that I'm not really even ready to use yet. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I'm not doing the, um, why I'm not doing the uh, kind of buffer warehouses yet. We'll see. It may change. We may, we may do them eventually. All right. Our smelter's finally going. We got the scrap iron coming from the uh, communications tower. Let's go ahead and read this tutorial. Or let's see here, just open the next research. I think they suggested the power and the beacon. Let's do what they suggest, although I'm pretty anxious to get to the vehicles and the mining. But let's do power and beacon. That's what the tutorial suggested we do. We'll stick with that. Escape out of this. Let everything keep going. We have one farm again where we expect to see the fertility kind of drop pretty quick because we've only got one cycle out of the four that's going to restore fertility. And then this one, we're alternating kind of like we did the last game. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's see, while they're doing their thing, do we have, oh, I need a place to probably store this stuff, right? The iron plates. Should we have a warehouse for that? And do I even have warehouses yet? I do have unit storage. Let's pause for a second. So if I put unit storage in place, the trucks are going to have to do the hauling, right? Because we don't have conveyors yet. And conveyors take a while to get, if I'm not mistaken. So, whoops, I don't need to look at that yet, I don't think. Statistics, there's a research thing. I keep going to the lab. I can just click there. Skip out of that. Yeah, so my... What I'm wondering now is if I should put a warehouse to grab resources out of our metal caster and just queue up these iron plates. I know we need these for multiple things. Maintenance materials being one of those things. Maybe we do it. Can I see the outputs on this thing? I guess not until I drop a building that we're to place one let's try it so we'll do an initial buffer i want to leave enough room where i could snake a, another belt for that second higher input port so this will be iron plates right yeah right there is fine let's let's do it again there's nothing to connect up because we don't have the um the conveyors let me go ahead and hit play So trucks will do the hauling for that. Research is power beaking in progress. All right, 9%. We're good there. Trees are marked. Farms. How about, do I have the ability to water anything yet? General machines. Oh, the assembly. Let's get that down. Uh, iron and wood gets us construction parts. Yeah, we, we want that quite a bit. So should we do this in parallel or should I pull output right out of this thing? Out of this warehouse. Let's see. Initially, it won't really matter. We've only got one output there. 
I guess we should do it from the warehouse. That gives us a little more option. So let's place that. And a okay, block waiting for materials. Boost. I don't need to pick the recipe. It's already selected for me, so we're good there. Yeah, so yeah, I was wondering, let's see what else we got. Irrigation or the rain collector guy is what I was looking for. Rain storage, fluid storage eventually. Food market. We have one of those, right? Are we good for that? Yeah, food market. Allows trucks, deliveries when the transport is connected, fine. Food. 29 months. Hopefully we'll get some more from these crops. And I want to put down one more farm, don't you think? We'll do irrigated farms at some point. But can we get this thing in here? Uh, let me put the overlay on just so I don't step on a, uh, a deposit. Potato, manure, uh, potato, potato. <laughs> Let's try that and see what happens. Like I said, I have a feeling that fertility is going to gradually decline, and this is not going to be the efficient way to do it, but I'll try it. It's different than what we did before, so I'm willing to give it a try. Let's take a look at the new message here. Okay, Captain, we have a, an assembly ready and can start producing construction parts. Okay, wonderful. We'll need a lot of construction parts. Yes, yes, you will. Totally, Captain. Just to keep one thing in mind, some buildings and vehicles require regular maintenance. That is an understatement. So let's build a maintenance depot as soon as possible. Very good. Let's close that. Pause. Pick a new research. Boom. Vehicles and mining. Oh, no, we're still doing power and beacon. I thought that tutorial was popping up because we had completed research, but we're still going on that. I'll hit play, keep things moving forward. Just placed our third farm. Hopefully food will be fine. Let's look at this real quick. We've got 80 people and a hundred room for 120. So we're okay there. Unity cap is at 30. We're only at 9.5. So we don't have to worry about waste and unity just yet. Again, I think we'll probably use that for maintenance. Now, I'm told we have more starting copper available to us where that copper is here it is 300 units of the copper and that's not the impure copper that's the good copper so we're in good shape there and they gave us some rubber too we're getting rain very deceiving i don't see the rain collector yet housing food market this is just marking for trees Oh, you know what we need? We need a, let's pause. I need a dump site, right? I got to have a dump site to get rid of my slag. Now, I can do it here. That's another, that's a fair distance, right? To go from the smelter all the way over to this hill way over here to dump the waste. I'm wondering, should we just have a local dump site here? I mean, this is kind of valuable area for building, but should we put like a little dump site close by just so that we're not wasting fuel, getting rid of this uh, slag, wherever it is, where is the slag? Is that one, that's once we switch over to the other recipe, I'm guessing. Yeah, this doesn't show any slag. So we, it's not urgent. Let's think about that, but we may just want to put a little dump site right nearby. Where is that? Housing and services. Gas furnace, metal caster farm. Maybe it pops up once we uh, unlock it. I don't see a way to do that yet. All right, let's keep it moving. Our trucks are traveling a bit harvest this scrap I, like i said i don't know if there's a if it's better to just start out close to where this iron resource is the scrap is and then 
tear down your factory and move it closer to the iron deposit. Uh, I don't think we get all of our resources back when we tear stuff down, if I'm not mistaken. So what are we doing? Are we accumulating any inputs? We're missing an input. Oh, that's for construction parts. Looks like it's missing wood. So let's get another truck doing wood. And let's see, is there a place I can see my fleet? I thought there was. Where would that be? Population, clearly not that. Food supplies. Does this do anything? Nope, takes me back into settlement information. Workers, okay, here. Okay, available to assign five free harvesting. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Under the vehicle management screen here, I can just hit plus, and now we've got two doing tree harvesting. Basically, I did that so we can get some wood into this assembly building and hopefully start storing some construction parts. I don't have a warehouse for those. This warehouse, I forgot to select a product. Let's do iron plates. We will leave the inventory just as it is. I don't really care. That was a mistake I made last time saying, hey, hold a bunch of stuff in inventory, no matter what, basically or unless it's being pulled out by conveyor. All right, so we're starting to fill that up. That's a good sign. Waiting on wood here. This guy seems to be doing okay with wood. We just assigned the second truck to wood, so it's gonna take a little bit of time probably. Food is at 24. And I thought we could see the growth percentage here. Does it show? It takes six months. Okay, harvest in 3.8 months, and we're delayed because due to lack of water. That's fine. Research still going, 78%. Got plenty of material here. Plenty of uh, scrap left, it looks like. All very cool. I think we don't have anything blocking. Okay, we're finally getting some maintenance materials built. Now, our construction materials. We could place another warehouse for this if we want. How much are the warehouses? Let's see. Unit storage is 20. We've got, what, 63 left. Let's see how long it takes for this to back up. I'm guessing we're going to need to do it. Have a warehouse just for the maintenance parts. Why don't we just do it? Unit storage. Again, eventually we'll connect these with conveyors, but for now it's going to have to be trucks. And place that guy down. We're getting some deceiving rain. Trying to make us think we don't have to worry about irrigated farms, but we know from experience we do. We are producing building materials. It looks like now with that truck delivering the wood, we're in good shape here. The extra truck, I should say. And we're accumulating some iron plates. I think that's good to be doing, even though, again, you could argue this is a waste, right? Because we're producing stuff that we don't need right now. All right, let's go open some research. Power beacon. I know I want the mining. I don't need to think too much about it. I think I even want the mining before the maintenance because uh, we need copper. Let's, yeah, let's just get the mining going too much time thinking about that. All right, looks like our crops are growing. And this one's automatically gonna be a little staggered, right? Because we placed it later. Our trucks are burning through the diesel. Our 
think we have to unlock that before we can do anything. Oh, we've got the diesel generator. Let me pause and just see what else we got. Uh, we got the assembly that's going farm. Yep. All that's going diesel generator. Now I can't do anything with diesel generator, right? Oh, I guess we can. We have diesel at the port, but I don't think we need it yet. Oh yeah. And we've got the beacon. Hmm. Cost 30 construction parts and 10 copper. That's not a ton. I don't even know that we need the beacon. Let's, I think last time the way we worked it out, it was, oops, that's not what I want. Uh, I think it wasn't too bad actually having the beacon over here somewhere and the generator over here. So let's do something similar. I think I'm going to mark these trees. Where is that guy here? Let's get rid of this. We know all these trees need to go. So I guess it doesn't hurt to just mark them all, right? Is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of anyway. So that's all marked, escape out of that. Let's put down a diesel generator. And again, initially, hmm. So what I'm thinking is we have this oil deposit here, but this is very limited. If we end up playing for a long time and we don't fail, we're not going to be pulling oil from here. We're going to be pulling oil from here when the truck comes in. So where we do all of our diesel production and, uh, and power generation, right? Power generation can be anywhere. We can run that diesel generator anywhere and it fuels up the whole island. So short term, it makes a whole lot of sense to put that down here to me. Beacon can go anywhere, right? I think it just needs electricity. I don't think it even needs to be connected up to the generator. Um, so short term, it makes sense to do it over here because this is where the fuel is initially going to be produced. Long term, it seems to make a lot more sense to do it over here. So let's try something different and put it over here. Boom. Diesel generator. We'll just start with one little guy. In fact, you know, the first time I played through, I didn't even notice that we had a storage tank here on the dock that we could actually hook into. So that was kind of lost on me. Same thing here. Does this guy have outputs? I guess not. That's just kind of for effect, this building, right? Same thing here, but this one is functional. We can connect, I believe, to this port. What does this... Hold. This is going to hold. Okay. All the cargo is temporarily stored in the shipyard. When the shipyard gets too full, it's unable to unload more cargo from the ship. Blah, 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 blah. Fuel for the ship. Ship health and repair. Diesel for the ship. Now, is this where my oil is stored though? Like I've got 285 diesel. Is that in this little tank or not? I got to think it is can't be crude oil. This has got to be diesel in here. So let's for, let's try it. Let's just try hooking it up this way. I don't know if this will work, but let's try it. So does this guy have an input? It does. What if I just do this? I'll leave enough room if I want to fork that pipe. So if I plop this guy down, do one of these routines. Oh, incompatible ports. Incompatible connected ports of the new transport. So that must be just crude oil. That might just be crude oil, right? Can I bulldoze this without penalty? I hope. Let's find out. We're at 51 construction parts. I'm gonna grab the bulldozer. Place another diesel generator. Uh, this time I'm just going to place it somewhere off to the side. The thinking being, this will be the crude oil coming in. We'll hook up our diesel production and then eventually we'll hook up our generator via with pipes to whatever that, wherever that diesel generation ends up. So let's just plunk this guy down here. We'll hit play, let this thing run. 
And then that's a good spot, I think, to end episode one of season two. This is a preview season. Again, as I record this, the game is not available. I guess you'd consider this an early access version. I, can't, I don't see the version number displayed here on the screen. It'd be kind of nice if it was. I don't see it in any of the corners. But uh, we're playing an early version. So not yet available to the public. But yeah, preview season two, we're off to hopefully a good start. And we were off to a pretty good start last time, but I'm going to try and take your feedback and suggestions into account. Feel free to add more tips into the comments of this video and the rest of this series. I do record a few episodes at a time, so I can't respond or I usually can't respond to your comments immediately after you place them. But I am going to try to take better notes as we go and address any comments I get the very next time that I record. But that's it for this episode. For now, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. If you do like this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow. I definitely appreciate it. But again, for now, I will uh, just say thanks again and see you in the next episode.